How the heck am I going to build all of this stuff? What is going on? Uh, guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo, and um, we're sitting here with my new PC, except it's in like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 parts. I'm used to getting things in one part. Um, I've ordered Max and had Max for the last, gosh, nine years, eight, nine years. Uh, this is the first time I've had a PC in so nearly a decade, and I never built one before. Obviously, I was very small ten years ago. I was, what, 12 years old, um, 11, 12 years old. So we're going to start this epic journey. Um, but first, I do want to say thank you so much to all the people who sent me emails and sent me advice and sent me parts that they would get. Um, I've never seen such a good and kind and thoughtful turnout on any question we were asked. I probably got nearly, you know, 80, 90, 100 emails, and, and many of them were really thought out and really well written in a page or two pages long. I'm like, you really gave me your, your, your knowledge, your advice, things that I didn't have. I was clueless about this. I still am sort of clueless about it. I don't even know all the things that I ordered. Um, but I have a much better understanding, and I really did want to thank you. A, a solid team of people really helped me, and even if I didn't respond to you, um, I'm still going through that process just to say thanks. And you probably made a difference in impacting some decision that I made one way or another. And now someone's calling, and I'm going to probably have to hang up the phone so it doesn't ring anymore. Okay. Um, big thanks also to Teaming Tubby Emu from YouTube, who helped me a lot with some of the specifics. And I was talking to him on Skype, as well as some other uh, some subscribers as well, who I dealt with and um, worked with on Skype, which was really fun and cool. So, a whole a crazy wide variety of ages, from 12 years old... 12-year-olds emailed me on, on, on my email account to, you know, people who are running computer stores. It was pretty awesome and pretty cool. So big thanks to all of you, and big thanks to Teaming Tubby Emu. Um, let's let's get looking here at what I have, and then in some way we'll, we'll build it. We'll start with this guy. Actually, we'll start the case. Um, it's much bigger than I thought, and this is a medium case. So it's white, and it lights up blue, I believe. I think that's what's supposed to happen. Um, there's a door here that opens up to your drives, I'm guessing, or something. Yes. Fans, there's fans on top, there's ports on the top. This is an NZXT Phantom, I believe. NZXT is at the brand, yes. NZXT Phantom. Um, down here we have the motherboard, and I don't even know. It's, it's something by somebody. It scares me to even open the box because there's things like this that look creepy. And then there's all the actual like, oh, computer stuff there. Okay. Um, here we have the graphics card, which is a GeForce GTX 570, blah, 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 blah which. I think should be pretty good. Um, some people had recommended two graphics cards. I ended up deciding just to go with one. Um, and I think this one is pretty solid based on what I um, research and things I did with the NVIDIA card here. Um, here's the power supply. I don't even know anything about these guys. <laughs> it's a block that helps it be powerful. And it's, what, 700 watts? Hopefully that's not dead on arrival. Um, uh, Xbox 360 wireless controller for PC just to be able to play games. That, you know, like something like Skyrim, say I want to play on PC, and I didn't want to deal with a mouse and keyboard for that. Um, here is the lovely Intel um, Core i7 processor, and um, this was kind of my biggest decision between an AMD and Intel processor, and I ended up going with an Intel just based on, Kobe quiet, Intel processor just based on personal recommendations and, and things like that. Both got good reviews, which is based on personal recommendations. I chose that. Here's my RAM. Um, I ended up getting 16 gigabytes of RAM, so it should run ultra fast. Um, over here, before we get to the mouse and keyboard, here are the drives. So I got a, a 128 gig solid state drive. Now, this isn't going to be my main computer. My I have an iMac um, that is going to be my main computer um, that I'm actually getting soon. I'm kind of redoing all my computer stuff. As you know, I used to have an iMac. Um, Maybe you don't know this. I used to have an iMac, and it crashed and broke, and it took them seven months to fix it. And so I got a MacBook in the process, and the MacBook is sort of like, eh, right now. So I just am replacing. So I have a PC and a Mac, so I can play any games that come out, as well as just effectively run my whole YouTube stuff and be able to take care of the Mac side, which is what I prefer, and also have access to the Windows side. Um, yeah, back to the actual parts. That's the solid-state drive. Um, and here is the actual hard drive, which is a terabyte hard drive. And it was very cold, so I'm hoping it's fine. I'm sure it is. Um, down here we have the Blu-ray disc drive, and that should be cool. Although I probably won't use it because I don't. I don't know. If I watch movies, it's usually on my TV. Um, we have the mouse and keyboard. Mouse is definitely my favorite part of the entire uh, <laughs> the entire set because it's a Transformers Razor. What is this? Death Adder? Deathader? Whatever. M mouse, and it lights up 
blue as you can see when it's turned on. Right now it's just silver, um, and Optimus' head is silver, but they will both be lighting up blue. And then I had no idea really what to get with keyboard, so I just kind of looked at best sellers on Amazon, one that was reasonably priced. I'm not going to be like programming keys or anything like that. It is a Razer Lycosa um, backlit keyboard, and there's snakes on it, so I don't know. That's kind of interesting. Um, last big piece, is obviously, is the monitor. Uh, it's a 23-inch Asus monitor. It's 1080p. It has like 2 millisecond response time or something absurd like that, HDMI inputs, blah, 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 should be, should be very good. So the way I'm going to do this is I've never built a computer before. Um, so I have a guide <laughs> that I've brought up on my Mac that I'm going to read as I try to put this together. And then I have Windows as well. I don't have that pictured here, but um, cross my fingers that this all works out. I got to go get that. Um, anyway, uh, cross my fingers that it works out. I don't break anything. Something's not broken. I don't like blow anything up or blow myself up. And I'll check back in periodically and let you know how things are going. Um, I was going to record the entire process, and then I realized it could take like three to five hours, and I don't have enough. Um, my I, my iPhone won't record <laughs> footage for that long, so we'll check in periodically and let you know how it's going and see how it's going. Uh, wish me luck. I'm actually kind of nervous. I'm hoping to get this all together because then I can start playing some games and recording some stuff that I never had access to before, playing more Star Wars Old Republic, and then some different gameplay stuff that I wanted to get going. So without further ado, let's build a PC. Okay, so here was some progress. This is uh, the motherboard being built. I've got the RAM in, the CPU in, and this being my first time building the PC, the power supply, I really didn't know the exact order. I tried to follow some guides, but again, there's no exact things because all the parts obviously are different. So finding the exact installation was the most terrifying part for me and not knowing exactly what went perfectly where on the motherboard, it got pretty confusing. And um, we make some more progress here by installing the motherboard into the computer. And here's where things started to get crazy with all the cords and trying to figure out where the fans go. That screw right there gave me a humongous amount of trouble. My thumb still hurts. And uh, it was a fun, crazy process, but much more tricky and difficult than I imagined. Okay, so this has been a total insane <laughs> disaster. I'm way sicker from staying up. And I apologize for not or for skipping a, a large chunk of the building here. I was just losing my mind trying to figure out a couple little pieces. But as you can see, we got the Blu-ray drive in functioning, the mouse, the keyboard, my support MacBook giving us all the tips, the monitor is even connected, and Windows is installing. So if we go to the other side, uh, got boxes everywhere. It's a huge mess. You're all probably like, go, let's clean it up. And I will clean it up. I know there's still valuable stuff there that I need to make sure I save, but I built this from probably about mm, 8 p.m. to 3.30 a.m. and then got up and finished this morning. Um, so as you can see, the cord management is horrible. It's really bad and I don't even care because I just wanted to make sure it got up and running. I know, I know that I eventually need to tidy it up so I can access this and make things pretty and stuff, but got the solid state drive, the hard drive, the processor, the fans, the power supply, my stuff in those. Whoa, crazy dogs. And as you can see down here, on the monitor, Windows is doing its thing. Um, got blue lights on top. The fans light up blue. Um, the back fans light up bluish. The front of the case is pretty sweet. Um, all in all, I'm really happy with the way it looks and everything and the way it turned out. I just, it was a disaster. <laughs> I still have to pop the graphics card in and the rest of the RAM, um, but I lowered things down just to make sure because um, there were some problems initially. And if you want to know what the problems were, um, First off, you can see right up in there, there is a connector, and this is kind of technical, I guess, but it's an eight, like an eight pin or eight hole or whatever the heck you want to call it, connector, and I was sticking the eight connector from the, the power supply down here into it, and in reality, I had to just connect the, um, I had this eight connector that I was connecting to it, but really all I needed to do was connect a four connector into four of those slots, and that fixed my power problems. Um, and then fans, connecting the fans was a big big blah that took forever to figure out and it was that I needed um, an extra connecting cable that came with the power supply unit that I didn't know I needed to be compatible with the fan cable and figuring out what the fan cable was. Um, one thing I've, uh, I'm like so, so tired and exhausted, but um, one thing I, I learned is that it's much harder than it looks and, or much harder than I thought, maybe you knew that, um, and that because there's so many different parts there can can, just can't be instructions that are going to be perfect for you. And so looking around, like, I have no idea how anyone built one of these before the internet because um, without that, I would have been screwed and not been able to even complete this. But 
it's up and running now. I gotta get Windows installed to get all the drivers installed. Hopefully in a couple hours we'll be playing some games um, and recording some stuff. But basically it's built. <sighs> it was it's quite the accomplishment. Um, I gotta get all this stuff cleaned up again. It's a complete disaster. This was three in the morning and just like giving up because I couldn't get Windows installed and I think I have it figured out now. Um, just stuff that I don't you know you buy a Mac and it's like pre-installed just turns on and now with like BIOS and going in all these weird options and. Yes, this is a, a, a disaster, but don't worry, I'll get it cleaned up and fixed. Um, stop it, stop it, stop it! You're witnessing a, a wild dog in the background. I think it looks pretty good, except the cords are, are horribly not managed. And as you can see in here, I do have these nice um, cord management holes I can wind things through. Uh, I just have not gotten to do that. The weird thing about this computer is that it drives out the... Kobe, stop it! The drive's all load right here. Um, and so... They're kind of like weird in the sense that I slide them out this way. Like they're facing weird. Okay, we're going to have a, a dog, dog attack here. I'm gonna attack the dog. Hey, what do you have to say for yourself, huh? What are you barking at? It's just snowing out. There's no people. It's the most snow we've had all winter. She's not happy. She's had her teeth cleaned. She'd be put to sleep, not put to sleep. Oops. I'm um, like put under to have her teeth cleaned, but. Yup, right now I'm waiting on a delivery for my um, my iMac and just trying to get this PC up and running. I'll make a video of the iMac as well for a, a computer day marathon here on Friday the 13th. But uh, until this Windows thing gets installed and then we'll check out the computer fully once it's on. I'll see you soon. And with that, it's finished. Here it is set up, everything on and working. It was like seven and a half hours of craziness. It's getting programs installed and everything. It was definitely fun and worth it and a great experience, but way trickier than I imagined and made everything kind of crazy and me sicker and tired and exhausted. But I have it running. been playing Dead Space 2, uh, Serious Sam 3, just checking out some graphics and everything can run on Ultra and it looks amazing. So expect some amazing footage coming. Here's my monitor with my lovely uh, Metroid background. It's pretty awesome. Great PC. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed this journey with me. Until next time, drink so much. Have a fantastic day. Until next time, we will see you all later.